say this is our first legit squall of the trip. <laughs> so what I'm doing now is stirring. It's called stirring. Who knew that uh, five days at sea with two lines in most of the time and you actually catch fish. My only job in life right now is to not let the sails flap so that Adam can get as much sleep as he can. This is taking creepy fan stalking to the extreme. <laughs> So this passage is not going to let us go without a fight. One reef, two reef, one reef, two reef, no reefs, three reefs, one reef. Welcome to our self-inflicted adventure. I'm Kiara and this is Adam. A few years ago, we walked away from our life on land to pursue travel and adventure aboard our floating home, the Millennial Falcon. Last year saw us improving ourselves and the boat whilst we tackled our first Atlantic circuit. Join us as we come full circle back to the Caribbean where we'll commence preparations for our next big challenge. Last episode on Sailing Millennial Falcon. Seems all of the prayers we made for, uh, for wind have been answered in spades. This is supposed to be the easiest passage ever. Currently in a calm with no motor. I don't know what's going on, but I don't like it. <sighs> Just let me have my moment. This is such a stupid passage. Don't move, don't breathe, don't touch anything. Just freeze. That's it, it's official. We have gone halfway. We have 1,100 miles to go till St. Martin and we've done more than 1,100. So geographically, we are halfway. Hopefully, time-wise, we are beyond halfway. I don't know if you can hear the gentle drone of the motor in the background, but yet again the motor is on. On the bright side, the forecast looks like it's going to really, really improve sort of tonight, and we should get four days of just broad reaching in sort of 18 odd knots, which sounds glorious, so hopefully that turns out to be the case. I'd just be happy if the second half is better than the first. It's not been like, it's not been agonizing by any means, it's just been kind of dull. The biggest challenge for our passage so far has been that one day where we had 37 knots, which was kind of challenging in a fun way, not like scary. It was like, it was a bit of a rise. It made the week interesting. The motor's holding up fine since I switched us over to the, uh, the onboard alternator controller. That problem seems to have subsided and everything's going well. Hopefully the motor can go off very soon and we will be sailing for, fingers crossed, the whole rest of the way. I'd love for just like four, un four uninterrupted days of sailing. I would love that. And if we could do all sort of seven to eight days remaining, I would love that even more. What are you gonna make us for lunch? I am going to attempt to make some beer battered mahi mahi cubes for lunch. Unknown quantity of flour, two eggs, and some sort of beer. That's what, that's what we're gonna go with. And all of the... <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself? I think I like the eating part. So no uh, cooking with Adam show? We'll see what the ratings are. <laughs> see how edible is first. Yeah, and <laughs> see what the food's like. <laughs> beer. Back. Sorry. Oh, okay. Back. Just a little bit until you think it's done. How was that? Is that enough? <laughs> yeah. This is just Kiara cooking, but with Adam's, no, Adam's no, no, hands, no. isn't it? Just because I occasionally look up for the moral support. <laughs> Start laughing, it's going to be great. I'll do a little bit of baking soda too. This is peanut butter, babe. A quarter of a teaspoon. <laughs> oh, right, right. No, 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 no. So what I'm doing now is stirring. It's called stirring. Sizzle, little dude. Wow. Please confirm with us that this, this is a cheat day food. It's not. <laughs> this is a diet day. <laughs> this is a light, a light on day. Show us your delights. Voila. Looks the part, that's for sure. The sweet chili sauce, the salt. Kind of need to have like a wooden bowl, some greenery strategically placed around to make it look mildly healthy. But they look pretty good though. Cooking with Adam. 
Look at that. Just right. Ah. Give me. Good with a little bit of sweet chili sauce. Yeah, yummy. Um, sweet chili sauce. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Too much? I thought you were going to lovingly feed it to me. Instead, yeah. <laughs> you're just like, sure stuff. Not. That is very, very good. Oh, that's really, really good. So tender. Mm. <clears throat> I approve. You can make this anytime. Yeah, the beer sort of helps, I guess. Beer always helps. <laughs> just finished the fish and caught another one. Wait, I need you to put the camera on. I need you to help me. All right, all right, all right. Okay, what do you want? What do you need from me? To get this off the winch. Okay. How did I manage that? Okay. Just quickly bundle up all of this. All right, this time we're gaffing him. I'm getting the rag. We're not losing this one. All right. You know how I know we catch fish? I changed my clothes. <laughs> I've got clean clothes on this morning. All right, we've got everything within vicinity. No, we don't. That what? knife, bring that knife and that rag closer. Okay. What is it? It's a mahi, I think. You reckon? He's edible, that's all that counts. Do we want him? Oh, Adam, you ask this every no. time. Do we want him? You've just gone to say we need to stock off our fridges again, and then you say, we do. do we really want him? He's a good size, him? we want him. He's a good size. Come on, let's go. You're we never get any bloody compass. fish. I'm too, I oh, know. Plums? Yeah. We do, we want him. All right, you take the line. All right. We're gonna have to do this on this side. Knife down. Just bring him alongside and then I'll gap him. Alright. You ready? That's it. Yep. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> Finally, I caught my fish! It's a baby fish for me! <laughs> good size. Oh, a good mahi though. Aren't you just being an absolute domestic god today, hey? And hunter-gatherer, well technically, you, I'm going to give you this catch. You hold it in. Yeah. I shouldn't though, because you need to learn I actually to... actually didn't hold it in. All that aside though, how good is this? Like, we just finished... Uh, well, actually, we haven't even finished all of our um, steaks from the first mahi we brought on, brought on board. And we just got topped up with another... Call it three meals worth. Like, two, two fillets per bag, three bags. This is actually a three fillet bag. It's just awesome. Like, who knew that... Uh, Five days at sea with two lines in most of the time, and you actually catch fish. Mind blowing, mind blowing. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. out here, we've got 900, 150 miles to go, and stumble upon this guy. In fact, we're practically colliding with this guy. He's got the whole ocean. We're literally a thousand miles from anywhere, and he's going to pass us within less than a mile. <laughs> haven't what are seen the a boat, of that? Haven't seen a boat for three days. Certainly haven't had anyone come within, within a mile of us since we left Cape Verde, and we're I'm genuinely going to pass within well closer than a mile. This is hard. What are the odds of that? Like, they must be phenomenally slim. Of all the places, of all the times for us to be converging, and on opposite tacks to be converging courses like this, it's just absurd. This is taking creepy fan stalking to the extreme. <laughs> we both pulled out our headsaws on opposite tacks, which means we don't have a lot of sort of course correction control. So I'm trying to come up as far as I can without backfilling my head sail. And he's trying to come down as much as he can without backfilling his. And I'm watching the uh, closest point of approach on the AIS and it's going from like quarter of a mile, 100 feet. And I saw three feet at one point. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So it's a bit of a tense seven minutes and nine seconds until we figure out uh, whether or not we're gonna scratch a bit of pain off each other. 
It's not something I thought I'd have to be dealing with out here. I would say this is our first legit squall of the trip. Would you agree, babe? You're currently in darkness. Oh, sorry. Oh, hey! Hi. So I think this would be the first legit squall we've had of the trip. We're uh, holding fast. We've got anywhere from 6 to 20 something knots. And the, uh, the rain's just kicked in. We've got blue skies behind, which is good, which means that's what's coming. Unfortunately, we've, we've got the headsail pulled out and we're hanging in there. I think it's going to be okay, but I really hope we don't have to dash out on deck and uh, get out there in the rain and deal with the pole just because it pipes up a little too much. But I think, like we were talking about this a second ago, there's a saying, and I'm paraphrasing, it's like, rain, wind before rain, let topsails fly again, rain before wind, something, 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 which <laughs> translates to like your, your stuff. So when we had uh, wind before rain, so hopefully that means that this is sort of the tail end, and it does look like it. But yeah, like what, 11 days so far? 11, maybe 12 days and one, one squall. I mean, we've had storms, like we've had rubbish wind and weather, but this is the first like clearly obvious squall line that's passing overhead. So not a bad innings, really. Whoa, steady. Come on, come on. Ground to port, ground to port, don't you backfill. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Come on, Hodge Van, do thing. Come round, come on. Atta boy, atta boy, steady she goes, steady she goes. Okay, everything's fine, I can get out of the remaining. It's officially the 14th day that we've been at sea and we have, I think, I think we finally hit the trade winds. Um, there's about 500, there's about 600 miles to go actually. I am most definitely hanging out for some fresh food, from some like salad, some little carrots maybe, that would be really, really great. I think we're both wanting something other than pasta, mashed potato, um, hearty kind of foods that I've been serving like stews and things like that um, because out here yeah we've been away we've been out here for like two weeks now and it's just not a scrap of salad left on the boat <laughs> so when we first arrive I'm starting to think of things when we first arrive that I want to do so my first one will be to go and have like a salad Adam what's your first one a beer a beer, a beer and a salad all right, well, there we go. We're obviously on whole different playing fields here. sun has just started to rise. Um, I thought I would vlog because we are only, we've just ticked over the 400 miles left to go, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, we're cruising along right now at, we're probably doing about three and a half, four knots. I don't know why I'm whispering. It's that Adam doesn't wake up, but he's over there, so in the aft cabin, so I don't think he will. There's not much wind, there's not really much waves. Um, it's about I can see eight knots on the dial there, so it's pretty slow, pretty pretty calm conditions. My only job in life right now is to not let the sails flap so that Adam can get as much sleep as he can. And then when he wakes up, we will he'll probably try and do the same thing for me. This has been the conditions for probably the last few days, or at least the few days coming up, um, according to the weather forecast. So it's gonna be slow going, but hey, at least we're actually sailing. It has officially been the longest passage that we've been on so far. I think it's been about 17 days so far. Um, our longest prior to this was from Bermuda to the Azores, and that was 15 days. I think it's gonna be a nice day today. It's not really many clouds in the sky, which is always good. Adam does love a blue cloudless sky. We're just gonna cruise along very slowly towards our destination.
This passage is not going to let us go without a fight. We've gone from uh, motoring in what was um, something like 24 hour calm to 29 knots to windward in the space of one squall line. I'm hoping that it eases and it sort of we settle into a nice bit of wind for the last part of the passage, but like far out. Just like all or nothing, literally all or nothing. Like we've gone from full canvas, or not even a full canvas, just a full main and a motor, like not paying attention at all, to in the space of 20 minutes, 30 knots, triple reef main and a tiny, tiny uh, head. Ocean isn't letting us go without a test. <laughs> I'm not so sure, I bet I have to run out there and put the second reef in there. Oh, big time. Yeah. We've oh, been yeah. one reef, two reef, one reef, two reef, no reefs, three reefs, one week. So far, it's been gentle, it's just rain. 23 knots, that's enough. 22. 24. No. Ah, ah, oh, shut the curtain. As the last few hundred miles slip beneath the keel, you can't help but look back over the journey and reflect. It was far from a perfect passage, but perfect passages don't make skilled sailors. And we're off! I'm feeling really excited, I don't know why. I think we're gonna lose this if we keep pushing it, so. Delfino! Oh, for those of you who've been watching for some time and have forgotten what it's like to be sailing, that's what this is. <laughs> Stupid, there's no other word for it. Today is the day when things start to turn around. Honey, I caught my fish! Stop laughing, it's gonna be great. This passage is not gonna let us go without a fight. This is supposed to be the easiest passage ever. Feeling slightly under the weather. I don't know what's going on, but I don't like it. Currently in a calm, there's no motor. Finally got another mahi. Oh, oh, oh. Happy hunting, see you on the other side, soldier. This will create a frenzy. Freeze. Don't adjust because we're finally sailing. Are we in? We are down. We did it! We did it! <sighs> it's done. It's done. It's done! Yes! Home sweet home. Sort of. <laughs> sort of. Ah! We've done it. I'm too tired to give you closing remarks at the moment, so we'll have maybe have a debrief after a, a snooze. Maybe, <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. For now, just see. <laughs> Nothing like some breakfast another champagne. Crossing in the bag. Yeah, another crossing in the bag. So, how many days did we do it in? I'll have a look, hold on. It is exactly 19 days. 21 hours and 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so Slow. one could round up to 20, but why would you do that? Cheers. Cheers.